Gardening is a labor of love, a dance with nature that rewards us with beauty and bounty. But what happens when uninvited guests, pests, fungi, and mold decide to join the party? Chemical solutions can be harsh. But did you know there's a simple, natural, and effective solution hiding in your kitchen cupboard? Yes, we're talking about baking soda. Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is a versatile compound known for its many household uses, but its effectiveness extends beyond the kitchen. Its alkaline nature helps it neutralize acids, making it a powerful tool in controlling pests, fungi, and mold in the garden. When applied correctly, baking soda can disrupt the cell structure of pests and fungi, making your garden less hospitable to them. But how exactly does it work? Let's break it down. Baking soda alters the pH levels on the surface of leaves, creating an environment that's hostile to pests like aphids and spider mites, as well as fungal growths like powdery mildew. It's this pH disruption that makes it difficult for these nuisances to survive. Let's start with pests, those tiny, relentless creatures that can wreak havoc on your plants. Baking soda can help you take control without harming your plants or the environment. To create a pest repellent spray, mix one tablespoon of baking soda with one teaspoon of mild liquid soap and a gallon of water. The soap helps the solution stick to the leaves while the baking soda does the heavy lifting by disrupting the pest's cell membranes. Spray this mixture directly onto the affected areas, focusing on the undersides of the leaves where pests like to hide. Reapply every few days or after rain, and you'll notice a significant reduction in pest activity. Within a week or two, your garden will start to regain its vibrancy, free from the tiny invaders that once plagued it. Next up, let's talk about fungal diseases like powdery mildew and black spot, common problems that can spread rapidly if not treated. Baking soda is a gentle yet effective way to combat these fungal invaders. For fungal infections, mix one tablespoon of baking soda with a teaspoon of horticultural oil and one gallon of water. The oil helps the solution adhere to the leaves and suffocates fungal spores while the baking soda raises the pH level on the leaf surface, creating an inhospitable environment for fungi. Spray this solution on both sides of the leaves, ensuring complete coverage. Repeat every 7 to 10 days, especially after rain or heavy dew. This treatment is particularly effective for powdery mildew on plants like cucumbers, squash, and roses. With consistent application, you'll notice the powdery mildew fading away and your plants regaining their health and vigor. Mold thrives in damp, dark environments, and if left unchecked, it can damage plant roots and lead to rot. Baking soda can help you prevent and control mold in your garden. For mold on soil, simply sprinkle a thin layer of baking soda over the affected area. Baking soda absorbs moisture and raises the pH level, making the soil less conducive to mold growth. If mold appears on your plants, you can create a spray by mixing one tablespoon of baking soda with a teaspoon of dish soap and a liter of water. Apply this mixture directly to the moldy areas and repeat as necessary until the mold is gone. With a little patience, you'll see the mold retreat, leaving your garden fresh and healthy once again. Baking soda can also be used for cleaning garden tools. Dirty tools can spread diseases and pests throughout your garden. Create a paste by mixing baking soda with water and use it to scrub away dirt, sap, and rust from your garden tools. For tougher grime, let the paste sit on the tools for a few minutes before scrubbing. Rinse thoroughly and dry the tools to prevent rusting. Have you ever thought about using baking soda for refreshing garden furniture? Wooden benches and tables can especially accumulate grime, mildew, and mold over time. Baking soda can be used to clean and refresh these surfaces. Make a paste with baking soda and water and scrub the furniture with a brush. For stubborn stains, add a bit of white vinegar to the paste for extra cleaning power. Rinse the furniture with water and allow it to dry completely in the sun. Another baking soda hack is to use it to extend the life of cut flowers. Adding a small pinch of baking soda to the water in your vase can help keep the water clean and reduce bacteria, which in turn helps the flowers stay fresh for longer. Change the water every couple of days, adding a fresh pinch of baking soda each time. The next great tip for using baking soda in the garden is for deodorizing compost. Compost piles can sometimes emit unpleasant odors, especially if they're not balanced properly. 
Baking soda can help neutralize these odors without disrupting the composting process. Sprinkle a light layer of baking soda over the compost pile to reduce acidity and keep smells at bay. Be careful not to overdo it, as too much baking soda can slow down the composting process by making the environment too alkaline. Baking soda also makes a great soil pH testing kit. Understanding the pH level of your soil is crucial for growing healthy plants. While there are pH testing kits available, you can use baking soda for a quick and simple test. To test soil alkalinity, dampen a small amount of soil and sprinkle baking soda on it. If the soil bubbles or fizzes, it indicates that the soil is acidic with a pH lower than 7. This test can give you a general idea of your soil's pH level, helping you make informed decisions about plant care and amendments. Baking soda is also an easy solution for eliminating weeds. While baking soda won't eradicate weeds entirely, it can help with minor weed control, particularly in small cracks in sidewalks or between patio stones. Sprinkle baking soda directly onto the weeds or into the cracks where they grow. The high sodium content will make the soil inhospitable, helping to prevent weeds from sprouting. Use this method sparingly, as baking soda can also harm desirable plants if it spreads too far. Before you go running to the garden with your baking soda, there are a few important tips to keep in mind to ensure you're using it safely and effectively. First, always test any baking soda solution on a small area of your plant before widespread application. Some plants, especially those with tender leaves, may be sensitive to it. Second, avoid over-applying. Baking soda is powerful, and using too much can lead to leaf burn or soil imbalances. Stick to the recommended doses and application intervals. Third, remember that baking soda solutions work best as preventative treatments or at the first sign of a problem. Catching issues early is key to keeping your garden healthy. Finally, consider integrating baking soda into your regular garden maintenance routine. A little preventative care goes a long way in ensuring your garden remains a vibrant and pest-free sanctuary. Finally, baking soda isn't just for plants, but can help wildlife too. Bird baths and feeders can quickly become dirty and regular cleaning is essential to keep them safe for your feathered friends. Baking soda is a non-toxic cleaner that can effectively remove algae, grime, and other buildups from bird baths and feeders. Simply sprinkle baking soda on a damp sponge or cloth and scrub the surfaces clean. Rinse thoroughly with water before refilling with fresh water or feed. So there you have it, baking soda, a simple and natural solution to keep your garden thriving. Whether you're battling pests, fungi, or mold, this humble household item can be a game changer. Plus, it's safe, affordable, and easy to use. Why not give it a try in your own garden? You might be surprised at just how effective it can be. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow garden enthusiasts. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of pests with baking soda. Happy gardening!